What's up YouTube? It's Mike here back with another video. We've got another rare fish unboxing for you guys in this one. Before we get into it, I ask you to please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ring that notification bell for notifications and if you like the video, please like the video. We actually have a bunch of new fish that I don't think I've shown you guys. So let me get you guys up to speed a little bit on uh, the last couple weeks. So it's been a few weeks for this guy. This is an African tiger scat. I actually got three of them and immediately regretted it. I did not realize how bad their aggression was going to be between each other. So I had to separate the three and that was a big pain. So I eventually just sold the other two and I took a big loss on them. Whatever, uh, my bad. I guess they do much better in like groups of five or six. Kind of reminds me of Discus, except these guys can do a little bit more damage. So you see how hungry he is all the time and responsive. They are all like that. And again, yeah, I regretted buying three because they're pretty expensive, but such a cool fish. A true freshwater scat can live its whole life in freshwater without any issues. So I'm excited to have it. Hopefully it doesn't get aggressive with anything else. I did have this guy in with uh, one of my albino silver arowanas before I moved him over, but um, I had a chance to move it over to its own tank so I could quarantine these three, and that's what I did. So, yeah, we got one of these guys that we will be growing out. So I recently got these really good size silver dollars. Got them a couple weeks ago, and they've been in quarantine, doing great, eating good. So I want to move them to the 600. I think they'll look really cool as another schooling fish in the 600. But now is a good time to move them so I can quarantine a new fish. So I got this from Chicago Stingrays. I'm pretty excited about it. It's kind of a rare fish. You don't see them too often. It's nice that uh, Chicago Stingrays imported a bunch of them, and uh, I had to get one for myself. So let's open it up, see what it is. You're welcome. T-H-A-K-Y-O-U -E Thank you. No, thank you. Nice box. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, oh. Certificate. Check it out. Check it out. If you haven't already guessed. What a beauty. What a beauty! Check them out! So this is a Cuban Gar. Very excited to, uh, to grow this guy out. Very cool pickup. So we're gonna, uh, gonna acclimate him. Tiny bit of prime, just a little, little bit. All right, so we've got, and again, um. I was talking about this in a couple videos ago when I was acclimating fish. I don't usually drip acclimate stuff like this, uh, but it's just easier for me. I can't float this bag, so that's why I'm doing it this way. I'm gonna get a bunch of this water out real quick, so we're just putting nice fresh water in, and while he acclimates, I'm gonna move these guys over. So I think that's a pretty cool group to add the four silver dollars to this tank. Just another schooling fish and uh, they're good size so I, I was uh, happy to be able to just put them right in kind of thing. 
but I think they look really cool in this tank with the tinfoil barbs. Just a really cool addition, I think. So definitely happy to have added them. And they settled in instantly. They look plenty happy. I knew they would be happy to be out of that 55 gallon, that's for sure, because they were big for it. But they were doing okay in there. They just spooked really easy. So I'm hoping that in here they don't spook as much. I don't think they're going to. There isn't as much activity and usually the fish kept on the bottom rack get spooked a little easier. I think they're not used to the shadows and whatnot and the uh, walking around of that tank spooks fish pretty easy so they should be happy to be in a nice big tank lots of open space and there isn't a bunch of shadows that will spook them and freak them out got them acclimated to temperature time to move them over to the tank I did notice that he has a lazy eye, or I don't know how lazy it is, it's actually looking up. So that's a little bit weird, and his snout is a little bit crooked, little bit bent up, but a lot of gar have imperfections. Pretty cool pickup, lazy eye and all. I uh, still very happy to have that guy. I'm hoping that someday in the future I can make it work with my other gar, and uh, you know, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, is no terrible aggression problems. That was my first time doing business with Chicago Stingrays. I dealt directly with Brad Rowland. Uh, you can find him on Facebook if you are interested in getting a Cuban gar or Stingrays. Definitely hit them up. Um, I don't think the gar are gonna be a regular thing that they get in, and I think they're gonna go pretty quick. I know of other people who have picked them up also, so pretty cool, pretty uh, pretty rare fish to see um, Chicago Stingrays getting them in. And uh, their shipping was great. I have no complaints about that. Shipping right to the door, which is always nice, because I hate going to the airport. But yeah, shipping right to the door, showed up alive, no problems, ate no problems. Definitely a healthy fish. And I get asked all the time, where can I get a Fly River Turtle? Well, the answer right now is Chicago Stingrays. They have baby Fly River Turtles for sale. So they are legally imported turtles. If you guys have been looking for a Fly River Turtle, now's the time to get it. I think they still got a couple left. Um, yeah, I, I've seen a few of them and they seem to be doing pretty well. So I would say go grab a Fly River Turtle. If you have been wanting one for a while, go to Chicago Stingrays and grab one of those up while they are still available. So as you can see, I'm doing water changes on these two tanks right now, but I figured I would finish up this video while I'm doing maintenance and catch you guys up on what's been going on. I thank you as always for watching. I ask you to please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ring that notification bell for notifications. If you like the video, like the video. Follow me on Instagram at Off the Deep End Aquatics and I will see you guys in that next one. Thanks.